Hello calculus students. In this video we're going to explore the fundamental trigonometric limit. The limit as theta goes to zero of sine theta over theta equals one. There are many ways to prove this result. We're going to accept it as statement of fact. So here is a plot of sine theta over theta. Here's the theta axis. And you can see that as theta approaches zero from the left, the function value approaches one. And as theta approaches 0 from the right, the function value approaches 1. Since the limit from the left equals the limit from the right, the limit exists. And since it equals the same number, 1, the limit here, is equal to 1. All right, so now that we've accepted that, let's explore a spe um, couple special cases here. In this case, we have a 3 theta in the argument. Now, it is a common mistake to think that you can pull this 3 out in front. But I want to show you that um, you don't have the same function. And you can see that here. This 3 theta affects the frequency of the sine function. This makes the, the um, uh, curve oscillate more in the uh, same span of time as just sine theta does, like over here. So you can see that. Here's a plot of sine 3 theta uh, over theta. And you can see that it oscillates more than 3 sine theta over theta. Here's just one hump here. However, you will get the same result as theta approaches 0, um, and that is that the limit is approaching 3. You'll see that in both these cases. So we see that graphically. So it's one of those unfortunate uh, circumstances in mathematics that um, you could do the wrong thing uh, mathematically and get the right result. All right, so um, I'll show you the right way to, to handle this limit and the correct way to handle this limit in the next slide. All right, so here we have the limit as theta goes to zero of sine three theta over theta. Now, recall, we want the argument and this um, denominator to um, look exactly the same, uh, have the same coefficients. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, multiply the top and the bottom by 3. Now I haven't changed the value because 3 over 3 is equal to 1, um, but uh, I've just manipulated this denominator so it looks um, exactly like the argument. Okay, so now I'm going to factor out the 3 from the limit, and when I do that, I have the 3 sitting out in front, and then I have the limit as theta goes to 0, of sine 3 theta over 3 theta. And then, uh, since if theta goes to 0, 3 theta goes to 0, and um, we get that this uh, limit here is uh, equal to 1. So um, this limit here goes to 1, and um, we'll write that down here like this. And so this limit is equal to 3, um, just as we um, anticipated by looking at the graph. Okay, let's look at um, the counterpart here. Um, this is with the 3 theta already outside the sign. Uh, and I, when I say already outside the sign, is um, you know giving a nod to this um, misconception that you can pull the, the 3 out of the argument, which you cannot do. All right, anyways, this, um, this 3 we can... Uh, factor out of the limit, and um, this, I'll park it out in front, and then you can already see the difference. Um, here we have a sine theta over theta, and that um, limit, remember, is equal to 1. So we have 3 times 1, and that goes to 3. All right, I'm going to show you uh, one example, and that is uh, this um, limit here where we have a 3 in the denominator. Now, recall that this 3 here in the denominator is really a, um, it's a one-third. So this limit, theta goes to zero, that's a one-third sine theta over theta, and I'm going to factor this 
um, one third out of the limit, just as I did the three. And then once again, the limit as theta goes to zero of sine theta over theta is one. And our result here is one third. All right, good luck.